Well, it's 6.06 .06 p.m. So excuse me in the previous video if there were people who I mistakenly might have thought were perps, but I guess turned out not to be. I mean, you know, the, the man and the female at the bus stop that I mistakenly thought from a distance that they were perps. Um, I guess I realized they didn't act like perps, so I'm sorry. So, um, I've been getting a lot of online harassment. I haven't even said anything about David Jane lately, but he created a brand new account just to come on YouTube and harass me saying you choose to be homeless. David never used to act like that and think he's all tough and everything. David never used to act like that. So, look at my shoes. So, tomorrow, I mean, I hope I can accumulate enough money to get away, to get food and transportation. I tried to panhandle and got nothing today so far. So, I got nothing today so far. So, um, I guess I'm g just going to try to get the last half hour or so at the Dirty Library. And, um, I'm trying to, you know, go to the library. And you look, you just come from the ATM. Move. So, um, <clears throat> it really does seem like as if the wicked is not suffering. And these people here living in some brand new doggone house. Excuse me, do y'all have change to spare for food to eat? Oh. Yeah. Brand new freaking house. Yeah, they say it they said it in a way like they just didn't want to be bothered. They said it in a way like they just didn't want to be bothered, like the people earlier, like as if I'm a pest that they want to go away. But as I said, look at this brand new house and you can't even help nobody. Look, look at that, but you can't help nobody. They want all, all the riches for themselves. And where does anybody call them greedy? Yeah, I mean, I should have put them on film to show you, show y'all their mannerisms and gestures, and then y'all would have seen that I can tell they said it like they just didn't want to be bothered. And I'm on the sidewalk, like, like as if they just wanted me to get out of their face. It really seems like the rich don't have to suffer. The only suffering they do is die when they get real old. And people swear they went up to, went to heaven.
but yeah, I mean, David never talked to me like like how he acts towards me now. And I never, I haven't even said anything about him lately, but he created a brand new account just to come and say, you cho- Candy, you choose to be homeless. David, you mentally off, slow, and retarded, and full of bed bugs. You need to leave me the hell alone. <clears throat> if you got more sense than me, then get rid of those damn bed bugs. Ridiculously loud. So if you got more sense than me, David Jane, get rid of your bed bugs and then come talk, come, come, then come, come harass me. But you can't even get rid of your damn bed bugs, and, and you're living in a fucking um, mental health group home. You're not even staying. You're not even. Uh, you don't even have your own place, and you never did. At least I had my own place. <clears throat> but yeah, sadistic, abusive, narcissistic perps, they strip you of everything good you have and leave you with nothing and then falsely say, well, you choose to be in that situation or you choose to be, Candy wants to be homeless. Why would I be housed for all these years and then all of a sudden just wake up one day and want to be homeless? W- w- tell me why. But then, if they say, Candy, don't help Candy, don't help her, she wants to be in that situation. Y'all telling people don't help me, but then y'all say you're sick and crazy and you need help. What means that I need more torture and abuse, not that I need help. So, yesterday I think on Twitter, somebody said, <clears throat> um, one way to get a prescription for homeless you know, for homeless people who are quote unquote mentally ill, the solution of the prescription is to get them housing. But they said that he was in Canada that said that, you know. So he wasn't in the US. But he was he said get a prescription for people homeless people who are supposedly you know, quote unquote, mentally ill. The prescription is to get if he had to get, get his homeless mental health patients, get them housing, and now be the cure for mental illness. But you know what? This gang stalking abuse is making people mentally ill. It's not stopping you. It's not stopping you from being mentally ill. It's making you mentally ill. If any ill that we have is y'all causing it, and y'all know it. Other targeted individuals say that the gang stalkers, you know, do what they do, that they do dirty to us and then blame us for what they did to us. And yes, they do do to us what they blame. I mean, do to us, you know. But then they say we did it to ourselves. The fake foster mom used to do, treat us the same way. The foster mom used to leave me in shoes like this, you know, and then I was 18 years old being forced to still wear hand-me-down clothes from when I was eight years old. Joni and Mildred's clothes, the foster sister Joni and the foster cousin Mildred, I was forced to wear their hand-me-down clothes. Um, I was forced to wear their hand-me-down clothes when I was um, 18 years old. And even, I think, 19, 18 and 19 years old going to college, I was forced to wear their clothes. And the fake foster mom. Oh, come on, man. All right, this is a perp. I'm trying to cross the fucking street. Move! And you ain't no thug. And then he had one, um, yeah, he manipulated the brake lights. I mean, it ain't natural for a whole bunch of, and you move. What the hell you doing? 
see they're trying to slow me down and block me. A whole bunch of guys picking fights and arguments with a dog on female. Look, look at, look at them. Freaking perp. See, gang stalkers can have a place to freaking live and a freaking car. I mean, he was trying to slow me down. I'm like, come on. And then the fly was about to try to touch me. And then this morning they had this perp come on my channel and try to say that the incident from yesterday, the, yesterday or the day before, I think it was the day before yesterday, look, three red, no, two purple, I mean, no, I'm sorry, two reds and a purple. Dog on, disabled vet, two reds and a purple. So the, the video of the guy from a couple of days ago, they try to falsely say, oh, you're the one harassing them. But I'm glad there were a couple of people who caught on to what was going on and know that the perp was gaslighting me. You Come on, you got on a whole red shirt and you're a homeless perp. And yesterday, somebody told me online that they do have some people who sell their soul to the devil for, and gang stock for free. Or they'll make the dog an excuse that they're mind controlled to do it and that they don't realize it. Yeah, they know what exactly exactly what they're freaking doing. They they want to do it. And they want to hate me. They're not forced to hate me. And then I get they wanna call me hateful. They say, oh, you're the one harassing and terrorizing him. Shut up. You don't know what happened on you don't know what happened off camera before I started filming and then they delay my phone that man in the blue shirt right there he he tried to hurry up and run away from me trying to avoid me look this gang stalker that was waiting for me Like, how you know I was coming to the library? This gang stalking witch, satanic demon witch. She's sitting there waiting for me, and then come and want to pull out once, once I, um, want to pull out once I, um, once I come and, um, pass by. This, that's another gang stalking tactic. You see, it's too many people doing this and y'all still want to say that I'm the one harassing them. And look, another perp, where you at? Oh, he must have gotten that car, black car. And nobody's telling these gang stalkers to repent, but I got to hear, hear not religious narcissistic lectures about how I need to repent from perps. Narcissistic perps telling me that I need to repent and that I'm the wolf in sheep's clothing. So I don't know how much battery I can get charged in the last 40 minutes. And more perps keep harassing me.